What's going on, Dolphins fans? Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate. The Miami Dolphins have added two more offensive linemen to the team, re-signing Isaiah Wynn as well as bringing in Jack Driscoll, backup offensive lineman of the Philadelphia Eagles. These will be this, the third and fourth signings the Miami Dolphins have made on the offensive line, re-signing Robert Jones as well as adding Aaron Brewer from the Tennessee Titans to the offensive line. And we knew the Dolphins were going to have to heavily address the interior of the offensive line as left guard was a revolving door that Isaiah Wynn had the starting spot on originally. And we'll get into what happened with him. Connor Williams obviously had his season-ending injury and probably will not come back to the team. And I'd have a hard time believing he'll sign with the team at all uh, probably before the season starts. And then you look at Robert Hunt. At the right guard position, he is obviously now a member of the Carolina Panthers. So, I'll start off first with the guy who was already on the team with Isaiah Wynn. He played all of his snaps last year at left guard. Uh, he was a starter through seven weeks before he sustained a quad injury in the game against the Philadelphia Eagles. Up to that point, he had not allowed a single sack had been called for three penalties on the season, and I was really happy with the role that he was playing. The interior on the offensive line had a lot of question marks. We knew Connor Williams had had a really good first season at center. He still had some issues snapping the ball, but we saw him continue to progress. Robert Hunt was one of the most secure positions on the entire offensive line, but that left guard position, whether it was going to be Robert Jones, Isaiah Wynn, Liam Eikenberg, or somebody else. There was a lot of questions revolving that left guard position. And before Isaiah Wynn went down with his quad injury, he really had that spot on lock. And I thought it was a great addition. And now, coming back this year, he's a year older, still not that old, still in his late 20s. He is going to be brought, in, brought back in to likely compete for the starting left guard position and just how things are so far. I hope he does eventually win that battle. I'm not a massive fan of Liam Eikenberg. Robert Jones is a backup. And then Jeff Driscoll, who we'll get to here, is also a backup previously of the Philadelphia Eagles. He's played all over that offensive line, played both tackles, played at the guard position, did not play at center. However, he was all over the offensive line as the sixth man to that Philadelphia Eagles offensive line, which we know has been one of the best offensive lines in the league for a while. He is a solid backup. He, when called upon, did a decent job for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, he played notably last year in the game against the Buffalo Bills where he had a 79 pass block grade according to PFF. Uh, he played 695 snaps at right tackle, 150 snaps at left tackle, and then 473 snaps at right guard since being drafted in the fourth round of the 2020 draft by the Philadelphia Eagles. Guy who's serviceable with how good that offensive line is. Did not get the chance truly to compete for the starting job with the guys that they had in front of him. But they let him walk. The Miami Dolphins bring him in on a short deal. Again, as a guy to compete for another interior offensive line position. We know the Miami Dolphins offensive line was going to look like uh, on the outside. We know it's going to be Austin Jackson at the right tackle position. You know, you're going to get um, Teron Armstead at left tackle. Likely Aaron Brewer will be playing the center position, and then it's up to the guards. We'll really figure out what ends up happening at the guard position for the Miami Dolphins, as there's now quite a few guys that are going to be able to compete. There are question marks about all of them. Isaiah the Wind, just in the terms of his ability to play the position, we know he is the best based off of what we've seen from him last year, not allowing a single snap. Uh, and when he was on that offensive line, the Miami Dolphins had a top five offensive line ranking according to PFF through those seven weeks and then as the injury started to pick up we saw the offensive line and the run game deteriorate and that's something that he excelled at last year so I like to see him shoehorn back into that left guard position the issue obviously is he is coming off that quad injury that he wasn't able to come back from those big boys as I always say do not heal as easily as other positions on the field as those skill position players out wide just the more meat on the bones the bigger size guys have a harder time coming back with efficiency. And then you have that right guard position, and we now see Jeff no, Jeff Driscoll, different guy, Jack Driscoll, Liam Eikenberg, Robert Jones, and potentially guys that we see brought in through the draft, brought in through a remainder of free agency, are going to be able to compete for that right guard position, whether the win is at the left or the right, and the competition on the other side. That's what it's going to look like, most likely, for the Miami Dolphins. There is still room 
for Miami Dolphins to bring in more guys, but at the very least, as things stand, that looks like what the offensive line is going to be. Again, going Toronto Armstead, excuse me, Isaiah Wynn, Aaron Brewer, Eichenberg, Robert Jones, or Jack Driscoll, and then Austin Jackson on the right tackle position. We saw this Miami Dolphins line last year when they were fully healthy. We saw massive improvements from previous seasons, and obviously losing guys injury really hurt the offensive line in general. Now, losing Robert Hunt is a massive loss, and we will see these guys being given the opportunity to compete, to take his spot on the offensive line. Let me know what you think down below about these signings. Do you think the Miami Dolphins should bring in some more guys? Is there guys that you think the Miami Dolphins should attack in the draft to look at in the interior offensive line position? Or are you happy with the guys that they currently have? These guys that we brought back and brought in aren't massive needle movers. The two guys, Aaron Brewer and Jack Driscoll, that we brought in for other teams have had mixed results. Aaron Brewer played a part on a pretty bad Tennessee Titans offensive line, and Jack Driscoll never was able to quite win the starting job. And when he did play at the tackle, specifically at the right tackle position, which if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's where he saw the most snaps, and that's correct. That's where Lane Johnson was. And a lot of Eagles fans I've heard saying that when Lane Johnson went out of the game, there was a pretty significant difference going from Lane Johnson to Driscoll. But we'll see how he pairs as a Miami Dolphin on the offensive line. Something that we'd like to see is his ability to play at multiple positions on that offensive line, which Mike McDaniel constantly asks uh, of his guys on the line to be able to be moved around, plugged, and played uh, all over the line. So we'll see how things go. We'll see about these guys. Let me know your thoughts on the signings down below. Were you hopeful for some, some better guys like I was? Or are you just going to be resigned to the fact that the Dolphins probably are going to be a little cheaper on the offensive line uh, like they have been the last few seasons outside of Toronto Armstead? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. While down there, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you all very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Go Dolphins.